Okay, so you're taking a course in economics. The first thing that these professors are going to throw at you is something called a production possibilities model. Big deal, you're going to have to study that. But there's a real reason why you study it. And that is, is it shows a good picture of something called scarcity, but it also is focusing on the problem of unlimited wants versus limited resources. All economics is based on this basic principle, this basic problem that human beings face. I call it the big problem. So when you're plowing through all of these models and macro and microeconomics, the debate is really about how do we face this problem of unlimited wants, all the things we want in the world as human beings, faced with limited resources, a limited amount of land, a limited amount of labor, a limited amount of capital, a limited amount of um, entrepreneurial ability. We're going to focus on land and labor. Land represents things like the land, of course, but trees, water, air, all the stuff around you that you can transform and make into something by applying your labor. What do we do? What do we choose to do? How do we do it? This is the problem, the economizing problem that economics looks at. I don't care where you are, graduate program, professor, undergraduate, this is what you're figuring out. This is the problem that you face. What are we going to do with our resources to satisfy our wants? How do we make those decisions as a species even, let alone a country or a society or whatever? And the production possibilities model, we'll introduce that next time, the actual model, is addressing this particular issue. Think of all the people in the world here they all are, and all the things that they want, and all of our limited resources, and you can see the dynamic of the economizing problem. Okay, see you next time. That's where we'll start the model proper.